Hey guys, and welcome back to Morgan's Menu. So today we're going to be trying out another dinner recipe, and that's going to be for some stuffed shells. I haven't made stuffed shells before, but I've obviously had them at restaurants and stuff like that and really like them, so I figured I'd go ahead and try them out. But the recipe is fairly straightforward, so I figured I'd step it up and go ahead and try and make my own homemade sauce rather than using the suggested jar of sauce. So kind of a two-in-one video today. I'll be showing you how I'm going to make this crock pot homemade pasta sauce, and I'm going to to add some hot Italian sausage to it to make kind of a meat sauce and then we'll follow the stuffed shells recipe to add to it so kind of a two-in-one because you can obviously use the pasta sauce for any type of pasta recipe or you can simplify the stuffed shells recipe down and just use your normal jarred sauce so let's go ahead and get started on both recipes <music> All right, so first we're going to start off with the pasta sauce because that does have to cook in the crock pot for quite some time. It suggests for up to eight hours. I got started on this a little bit later than I wanted to, so I'll probably only do like six to seven, but really the amount of time is just to kind of get all the flavors of the sauce to come together, so I really think about seven is going to be just fine. Now for the recipe, you can use whatever type of meat that you want, or you can omit it if you don't want to use any meat. I'm going to be using a pound of hot Italian ground sausage. You can use mild if you don't want it spicy, or if you want to make it kind of a more lean, kind of less fat, less calorie meal, you could use some lean ground beef or ground turkey. And then the rest the ingredients are going to be some kind of tomato based ingredients as well as some spices. So the recipe calls for two of these tw large 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I didn't realize I needed two so I have this other one of tomato sauce. So we're going to be using one large can of tomato sauce and one large can of crushed tomatoes. They're basically close enough to the same thing. You also want a, another smaller can of fire roasted tomatoes which is just kind of like Rotel so this is just the off brand that I could find at the store. You also want a whole six ounce can of tomato paste. And then lastly, you just need a bunch of spices. So we're gonna be using half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, two bay leaves, half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And then it also calls for another half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, but a lot of what we're using is Italian seasoning, so I'm just going to add in some basil and garlic powder as well. And then you can top it, of course, with some Parmesan cheese or fresh basil or whatever you have. So I'm gonna be topping and using all that with the stuffed shells recipe. So that's all you're gonna need for the homemade tomato sauce. I'm not sure the seasonings, I might add a little bit more than it calls for just because I think half a teaspoon is a really small amount for the amount of sauce that this is gonna make. It says it's gonna make about six servings. We'll see how much is left over between this and the shells recipe, but it should be pretty close to the amount that we're going to need. So basically all you have to do is go ahead and brown up your sausage. So I have a pan getting hot right now with a little bit of olive oil, so we're just gonna cook that at medium heat. The recipe does say that you can skip that step and just put the meat in if you don't have time to brown it, but I just don't like that idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook these down, especially because I'm not gonna have the full eight hours to cook. I wanna make sure that the meat is fully cooked before I actually put it into the crock pot. And then basically everything else just gets thrown into the crock pot once you have browned the meat and you stir it together, and then you just let it sit and cook on low for about up to eight hours. Again, I'm gonna be about six to seven, um, but however long you have, probably the longer the better, so that all the flavors combine together nicely. So go ahead and show you how I throw everything in the crock pot, and then I'll check in with you when we're ready to actually start the stuffed shells.
later since we last started the pasta sauce and it's looking really really good it smells delicious my entire apartment smells like pasta sauce it's it's amazing uh, and you just saw it's been kind of at that low boil simmer for several hours now so I think it's ready to go I'm just gonna keep it going while I prep everything else up and then I'll just turn it off right when I'm ready to put the dish together. So now I'll go ahead and go over everything that we're going to need for the actual stuffed shells. So for the first thing we're gonna need are these jumbo pasta shells. So obviously you're going to just kind of cook these um, according to whatever the box instruction has and just make sure whichever one of them that you use that you use ones that aren't like broken because we do want them kind of whole so that we can stuff them with the mixture. Um, and it says to use about 12 to 14, so I'll probably use 14 since I do have quite a lot of sauce to work with. For the vegetables, I'm going to be using spinach and some onion. You can add or remove that, any of that that you want. Um, so basically, you want to go ahead and saute whatever vegetables that you're going to be using. So you'll need a little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to saute the onion for you know five to seven minutes until it gets translucent um, at medium heat on the stove. And then I'm also going to cook this entire bag of spinach. Also need two cloves of minced garlic. A cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, so I just have this dairy-free one that will be used. It, it melts pretty well, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. We're also going to need about a cup of ricotta cheese, half cup of a grated Parmesan cheese, one large egg, some salt and pepper, whatever sauce that you're using, and then we're going to top it with some fresh basil once it's done. So basically the steps for this are pretty straightforward. You want to boil the noodles according to the box instructions. You might hear my pot in the background that I went ahead and got that started. You also want to saute whatever vegetables that you are using. And then you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees because we're going to bake all of this together once it's prepared. And then all of the cheeses, the ve sauteed vegetables are going to be mixed in a bowl and then that's going to be the stuffing for the inside of the shells. This is going to be a pretty heavy meal so I'm just going to prepare some steamed broccoli on the side. You can put a salad or whatever you want with it but I have a feeling the pasta shells themselves are going to be pretty filling so just going to add some broccoli to add some vegetables to this but I must have dropped a pasta noodle because Petey was eating it. <laughs> but let me go ahead and show you how I pull everything together and then show you how it comes out at the end. I'll taste it, eat it for dinner and let you know how it all turned out. So we've got our little station set up here to go ahead and stuff the shells. So as I was cooking the shells, I was worried that 14 wasn't going to be enough. So I went ahead and cooked 20. We'll see how much I need. But based on the amount of inside that we have, I felt like we needed more than 14. So cooked some extra. So basically all we have to do is start with our sauce that's in this crock pot that you can not really see over here. But we're going to line the bottom with some sauce stuff the shells with the mixture, top them with more sauce, and then top them with some more grated Parmesan and throw it in the oven.
completely forgot to do a check-in last night after we finished dinner, but I will say this recipe turned out fantastic. I really, really liked both the sauce and the stuffed shells recipe. I think they were really good together, but also would be really good separate if you wanted to do a more simple version. Um, I will say, I don't know what size shells the recipe that I kind of followed um, was using maybe it was some extra jumbo shells or they really really stuffed them but I found that they were pretty well stuffed by using all 20 shells with the amount of stuffing that we had so I would say go for more on like 18 to 20 shells unless you're using much bigger shells than I did also I will note that the sauce recipe made about double what I needed um, with the 20 different shells we ate about half of that so it was really about four servings so I would say the pasta sauce recipe really makes about eight servings of pasta sauce if you wanted to just make enough sauce for the actual shells recipe or for just something with four servings I would just do half of what I did um, or you can do what I'm gonna do and I used half and then I'm just gonna freeze half and then pull that out later whenever I want to make this or something similar again so whatever you want to do works but definitely recommend both recipes they were really good especially with the hot Italian sausage in the sauce I really think that gave it a good flavor and it really wasn't that spicy at all so if you're scared of the spice don't be because it was definitely just gave it a really good flavor but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it was helpful for you if you have any questions on any of the recipes that I did make sure you leave those in comments down below Below, but as always I will leave the steps of everything that I did as well as the inspiration recipes that I followed if you have not yet followed me on Instagram make sure you go ahead and do that I'll put the handle up here and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed make sure you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays thanks again for watching Morg's menu and I hope you have a great day bye guys mm -hmm.